Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some awesome Fallout 76 news to talk about and oh, this is just my, probably one of the smallest articles they have done but has quite a bit of information in here, especially if you guys are interested in a new Wastelanders trailer because yeah, we have got some official news on that and that pretty much will lead most likely to a release date due to the fact that yeah, if they're going to plan this big trailer out, I do expect there to be a release date but they go on to say new wastelanders trailer next week if you've been keeping update with the fallout 76 news you probably know that we've been hard at work on our upcoming wastelanders update we've been regularly highlighting some of the new content coming to the game sharing new screenshots with you and recently opening a private test service so players outside of the studio can join us and play testing with more invites on the way soon However, we'd like to give you another peek on what's to come in Wastelanders beyond a few new screenshots and words on the page. We've put together a new official trailer and we're excited to unveil it will be um, dropping next Thursday, February 4th. So I believe if you're in you know, Australia, I think that is Friday, February 5th. But they're going to say keep an eye on Fallout, you know, the details. All that type of stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much the trailer news. We do get an official trailer that will be coming in, yeah, a week's time pretty much. So that is obviously extremely awesome. I'm very excited to do it. I most likely will be doing a trailer reaction on this channel, obviously. And yeah, other stuff to potentially come as well but they go on to say make some new friends last week we introduced you to the settlers and the raiders the two major factions who are on their way to appalachia with our upcoming wastelanders update this time we're sharing some details about a new reputation system that will help you move from a total stranger to a close confidant with each faction and earn a few rewards on the way when you meet the when you first meet the settlers and the raiders they will hesitate to include our uh, include you a newcomer in their affairs but the more you do to help the faction by offering information, taking down their enemies and completing quests, the more that you'll prove that you're someone they can rely on and your reputation with those factions will increase. Eventually, you'll rise through seven different reputation ranks from hostile or cautious to neutral, friendly and ally among others. Whenever you gain reputation with a faction, you will receive a notification that shows how much reputation you earn. The amount of reputation you, also, you can also earn depends on what you did to earn it. Completing a story quest, for example, will give you a large amount of your reputation. While finishing a faction daily quest or making certain choices during conversation uh, and additional ways to also gain reps. So, a lot of people were a bit confused about the reputation system in the previous week. There was even some people saying that it might, um, you know, do to have, have something to do with the karma system and all that type of stuff. To be honest, I thought there could have been some karma system in here, but so far we haven't got anything to do with the karma system. So, I'm not too sure. Again, everyone was saying, a lot of people were saying karma system, and it looks like Bethesda had actually confirmed the karma system, but... Again, reading this article, it doesn't look like that is the case just yet. But again, who knows? Maybe we could potentially get some more stuff. But again, I'm not too sure if you can necessarily be um, really close with the Raiders and the Settlers. I think you can potentially rank up with both of them. But again, as it was saying, as you go through the story and do certain things, potentially your, um, you know, your reputation system and their points might go up with one um, faction, but it could potentially go down with the other. That's just how I see it and how I think it could potentially happen, but they say, you'll be able to view your current standing with both factions at any time by opening the social menu. An icon for each uh, um, faction indicating your current reputation rank will appear at the top of the social menu next to your account. You can click um, this. Uh, you can click to open the reputation pop-up, and that shows you your rank, your progress towards the next. They also go on to say, as your reputation ranks with the Raiders and Settlers increase, People at Crater and Foundation will treat you with more warmth during your interactions and the faction's vendors will sell a wider range of goods. By completing story content, you will also gain access to new vendors that sell plans for a new faction themed items which will unlock at certain ranks. Likely neighborly, uh, neighborly or like neighborly, sorry, friendly or ally. And yeah, that makes obviously a lot of sense to me. I think that is very cool and uh, yeah, I'm just 
extremely excited to see how this is all going to go. Definitely let me guys, uh, let me know down below um, what faction do you guys think you're going to be signing with? I definitely would really like to know, but they also say, we hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about the reputation system that's on its way um, to the game, and we're excited to share our Wastelanders trailer with you on February 4th. And again, if you're in Australia and, you know, New Zealand... I believe that is February uh, 5th, which will most uh, which will be a Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. But, again, this is really cool news by Bethesda. It was a little bit of a smaller article, but, again, had quite a bit of information in it. And I just think that it was a little bit smaller because they're really, you know, getting ready for that Wastelanders trailer. And I am so excited for it. I think it's hopefully going to be absolutely awesome. Hopefully, we learn a couple of new things in the trailer. Who knows? Maybe they're waiting to reveal a karma system potentially in that trailer. But I just don't know why. I just feel like there will be a karma system in um, Fallout 76 eventually. I have no idea why because the way they, you know, the way they've actually been trending with doing a lot of Fallout 3 stuff in this, and the way they were kind of talking about it in the last update, update it looked like there was going to be a karma system. So again. I'm not too sure. Who really knows? Maybe it might be in the next update after Wastelanders. Again, I think it would be really cool, but again, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, the, the reputation system does seem to be very cool. And the fact that you can go around, you know, Crater and Foundation, and maybe at the start they'll talk trash, and by the end or something, whichever one you're with, that will be very nice. I'm not too sure. I think that's mainly how it's going to go. But again, that's a very cool detail that Bethesda have added into Fallout 76. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest um, gaming and Fallout content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this new reputation system and how it's all going to work? And what faction are you guys going to be siding with in Wastelanders? Are you going to be siding with the Settlers or are you going to be siding with the Raiders? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions. And do you guys think there's going to be a karma system in the Wastelanders update? Or do you think it might be in the next update? Or do you think it might never come to Fallout 76? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.